I'm gonna start with a softball question. Which of your leading ladies is the strongest actress? Oh, that's a nice, simple <laughs> question. Well, you see, if you're gonna play a polygamist or if you're gonna be a polygamist, I, I think uh, you have to be impartial. Mm -hmm. It's a hard enough juggling act. You know what, they're all phenomenal actors. Well, that's the thing about this cast, there's really not a weak link in the bunch. I mean, all the no. way down to like the small supporting players, it's amazing. There's four stars on the show and they really write really democratically for all of us. So we all have enough meat on the bone to bite into. So we, they're not like, hey, well, I saw they wrote you an extra monologue. Or there's none of that kind of stuff going on. Well, let's start with uh, last episode. Things looked pretty dire for Bill at the end. He took kind of a fall. I see you're looking pretty well. And also the fact that you're the lead of the show, I imagine, bodes well for Bill's future, but it, it was very soft. Remember, I fell on some <laughs> hay. My wife got a little upset when she saw that. What was going on there at the end where he kind of looked up into the stars? It just seemed very sort of foreboding. There well, was it was like kind of hard because they did that candid upside down shot of me. So unless you kind of went like this, you couldn't really see my expression. But uh, I think they were supposed to be me kind of contemplating outer darkness. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a little vague. Yeah. I thought, nah, I don't think they're going to get that. Bill this season has been on kind of a, a spiritual journey more so than other seasons. I mean, we saw it in the road trip episode a bit, like he's having yeah, a little bit of a crisis. The, Talk a little bit about that. He's had a crisis of faith, like we all do at some point in our lives. And, uh, you know, he's starting to question if, if he has t taken the high road morally. And uh, he's just, because it's not working out. Everything seems to be just, you know, I think he even says it's, it's spinning out of control. He goes on the road trip on episode six to try to, he feels like that, that'll that help solidify the feelings of the family. And, you know, of course, that's the worst thing you can do. Mm -hmm. He's been kind of tested in about every way a man can be tested this season. I was worn out emotionally by the time I finished this last season. I just I just felt like, God, and it's, it's hard to sustain that kind of... Um, that kind of energy in a part. They take us from zero to 60 all day long. By the end of the day, you just feel like you're out of gas. You're just emotionally just whipped. Speaking of which, next week's season finale looks pretty amazing, action-packed. We know that there's a death, pretty significant death in the episode. What else can you tell us? Does the season end on a cliffhanger? I remember last season, it kind of ended with a nice moment with the family together. It wasn't really a, a classic cliffhanger. This will this be season? more of a cliffhanger oh, yeah? with, with an exclamation point. Nice. <laughs> yeah, this one will be unforgettable. Do you see the show going on for a certain amount of years? I think we'll make six pretty easily. Yeah. I'll stick with it, you know. It's been a great gig for me. Would you say it's the most satisfying role you've had? To I think so in terms of... Uh, getting a chance to, to play an ongoing character and, uh, and to play a guy in this situation who's, who's you, know, he's, you know, he's a businessman and you know, he's a visionary, he's an empire builder, you know, he's, he's a leader, he's a patriarch, then he's got a guy to have three wives and maybe a fourth, well, I had a fourth there for a while, it didn't mm -hmm. kind of work out so well. Why do you think the show doesn't get more attention? I mean, obviously this recent controversy put it back in the headlines, but it seems like it kind of is very much under the radar. I think it's out there more than you realize. I, and the reason I can tell is uh, when I'm going through airports or even walking around New York and stuff, I mean, I have just people of every age, uh, mostly women. And it, I love your show. You know, the numbers that they have, I think it's also the way they, they show the repeat showings because it's HBO and people TiVoing and stuff. I, I think it's bigger than, than people realize. And it's kind of great to be under the radar. You know, mm -hmm. the problem is a new show comes on, it's popular, and, and everybody just goes gaga, and then there's just nowhere for the show to go. I won't mention any names, but, you know, a couple of shows that have come on about the same time, Big Love, they've already kind of shot their wad with all of the awards and everything else, and we're still kind of like, kind of, we're there. Mm -hmm. We're like greyhounds. We come, <laughs> we come up from behind.